everyone and welcome to another episode of Looking at the Word with Beck. So today we're going to be looking at Psalms and Psalms is a really beautiful book and a great place to start if you want a nice comforting place to read and to ponder on. So Psalms is a book of songs and there are heartfelt prayers that were written by songwriters and musicians who were called psalmists in those days. So Psalms captures the highs and lows of what our walk with God sometimes is like. On a good day, Psalms records praises and rejoicing in God and in what He has done for His people. And on a tough day, Psalms talks personally about the writer's struggles with hardship or difficulty, bringing that in prayer to God and telling their soul to not be downcast, but to continue to look to God and to trust in Him. Israel's greatest king, King David, wrote many of the Psalms. And some of the Psalms become messianic in that they start to foreshadow prophetically some of the things about the coming Messiah, God's king, including his suffering and the glory of his future kingdom. So we're going to have a read of the most famous Psalm, Psalm 23, and then also Psalm 46 which is a beautiful psalm from where my wall decal, um, the sticker behind me, comes from. So you can listen on, otherwise um, if you would like to have a look yourself, you can go to bible.com and if you, you want to scroll down um, to psalms, So if you just move the scroll button a little bit, it should pop up pretty quickly. And then you want to click on chapter 23. And I'm reading from the new international version, NIV. But if you like, um, later on you can also play around with different versions. Um, it's really interesting to have a look at some different versions and um, sometimes they just express the same ideas in, in um, fresh ways. So Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still uh, quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And moving now to Psalm 46, so you stay in the same book. You just want to go to chapter 46 and um, yeah, there are a lot of chapters there, but basically the Psalms are divided into little songs and there's over a hundred of them. So just click on 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress. 
Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So Psalm 23, David was a shepherd boy who looked after his father's sheep. And it was these experiences looking after the sheep, including protecting them from predators, including even a bear and a lion, that taught David to rely on God and to trust in his care and protection. And later on, David went on to defeat the giant Goliath in the famous David and Goliath story. And he trained for many years in King Saul's army, becoming a warrior before he went on to become Israel's king. But it was in those wilderness years when David looked after the sheep that he learned those lifelong lessons of walking with God and trusting in him. David loved and trusted the Lord with all his heart and that was what led him to write many songs of praise and worship to him. It was what led God to call David a man after his own heart. So in this beautiful Psalm, Psalm 23, David learned that he could look to the Lord as his shepherd and that his soul would not be lacking anything because he was sustained by the Lord. He learned that um, the Lord as his shepherd would lead him in all good paths, including to find food in green pastures and water in quiet waters. He learned that God's hand of protection would be over his life protecting him from danger when he faced many enemies. He learned that even when he would walk through the darkest valleys, like the valley of the shadow of death, he did not have to fear evil because the Lord as his shepherd was with him and he would never be alone. He learned that the Lord would guide him his whole life and that he would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And in the New Testament, the Lord Jesus called himself the Good Shepherd, who lays down his life for the sheep. His claim as the Good Shepherd was not a new one, but an old one, pointing to his identity as the Lord God of Israel. And Psalm 46 is a beautiful psalm which exhorts us to trust in God as our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Because we can trust in an almighty and a sovereign God who sits high above the nations and creation, we can tell our souls to not be alarmed and afraid through times of trouble. Verse 5, God is within her, she will not fall, is an interesting Bible verse that is being used a lot in Christian art and posters on Etsy, and maybe it sounds a little bit cool and feminist. But what it means is that although God lives in his city in heaven, as citizens of his city, his spirit also dwells in his people, comforting and strengthening us as we carry on with our day-to-day -day lives. And because God is dwelling in us by his spirit, we can know that we are being sustained and that he will not let us fall. And if we feel that we lack the spirit, we should ask God humbly to fill us with his spirit so that our lives will overflow each day with his joy and his presence. And one of my favorite verses, verse 10, is another great verse. So be still and know that I am God. We need to remind ourselves that despite the storms of life, our Lord God remains in control. Because he is the creator God, who holds the universe in his hands, we can be still like a little child, trusting that he is God who holds us in his hands and will not let us fall. And faith, I believe, is not the absence of storms, but rather it's finding the miracle of supernatural peace in the midst of uh, these storms and in spite of them. So I hope this little introduction to Psalms um, encourages you 
and I encourage you to keep reading through Psalms because it's got some really great stuff in there to reflect and ponder on and you'll find I hope that it really uplifts you in a powerful way. So have a wonderful day and God bless. Thanks for watching.